So I have a, an email from one of the jurors this morning. Interestingly, he sent two different drafts of it. Um, the, and the first says, um, it's, it's to my assistant, when you have a moment, please relay this to the judge. Good morning, Judge Whitaker. I am requesting to be removed from the current case due to the length of this trial and how the state has handled this case. I can no longer be unbiased towards any decisions moving forward. Yesterday provided a glimpse of how the state pre presented its evidence, and I foresee another three to six months with the remaining defendants. Thanks. But then that's not what he really meant to send because he said, I didn't mean to send this version, not the other one, with a minor correction. Hope all is well. When you have a moment, can you relay this email to the judge? Good morning, Judge Whitaker. I am requesting to be removed from the current case due to the length of this trial and how the state has handled this case. I will be biased towards any decisions moving forward. Yesterday provided a glimpse of how the state presented its evidence, and I foresee another three to six months with the remaining defendants. Thanks. Now, this is the same juror who a few months back asked to be removed from the case and provided no reason whatsoever, and so I just ignored it. I just said, no, you're not removed. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Um, and so I think this is just a ploy to get off of a case that he's sick of being on because it's taking up his time. Um, Obviously, we can have him out and privately, not with the other jurors around, and ask whatever questions we want of him. Willing to hear what anybody has to say about it. I don't know from the court's perspective if this would be appropriate, but I would have no objection to informing this juror that, that it might not be three to six months. And I think that's, it might not be three to six months or whatever he said. And, and, and I think that is accurate and honest at this point. I mean, I think it would be fair to say we have no expectation, no expectation that it'll be another three to six months. Hey, Your Honor, we have a he said that he towards, towards any decisions. Whatever that means. Right, but he said it, but he specifically talked about the state and how the state had turned up this case. So, therefore, the state would have some concern with the juror not being able to remain fair and impartial given what his language was. He didn't say to either side, he said specifically to the state. No, he didn't. He said, I will be biased towards any decisions moving forward. Yesterday provided a glimpse of how the state presented its evidence, and I foresee another three to six months with the remaining defendants. Uh, and frankly, you have to start a case unbiased, but as you listen to the evidence, as long as you don't deliberate with anybody, you can mold the evidence in your own mind. And frankly, if y'all are presenting the case in a way that is driving a juror crazy, that's on you. I mean, I certainly think that would be appropriate. So I'm looking for some kind of the general language that we give about needing to decide the case based on the evidence. Um, so once I find that, we'll get him out, and y'all can ask whatever questions you want. And, and when that is complete, Your Honor, before we bring the whole jury out, I just want to say something to the court, put something on, briefly on the record. Okay, about this, this or something else? Something else. It can wait. Okay. Thank you. So I am in receipt of a correspondence from you this morning. 
and I'm actually uh, in receipt of both versions of it because you sent one and then you adjusted it um, and my assistant had already sent that one to me so I have both um, and you seem to be expressing concerns about the length of the trial and uh, I've discussed that with all of the attorneys and we all feel comfortable um, representing that there is really it's almost certain that this trial will be over far before three to six months have elapsed. Um, I think it is um, probable that it will be over before the end of this year. Um, so I'd like to find out whether that assuages any of your concerns. All right, let me ask you as well. Um, you said that you, um, first you said you could no longer be unbiased and then you said that you would be biased towards any decisions moving forward. Is that because of the your worries about how long the case might take? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I project that when we first began this entire uh, case, we were projected to be over like six months and then to a year. Yeah. Yeah. So since uh, you use probable in the sentence, and so therefore I can assure, if you're assuring that this will probably go for the 2024 year, so then therefore I can stay on, still stay on board. Okay. Let me ask you a couple of other things as well. Um, I know that um, you were instructed to some, with some version of entering the case and considering the evidence with an open mind and not reaching any final conclusions until the trial is over with. Um, can you continue to um, assess the evidence with an open mind? Given the information that we just discussed, then yes. I All right. Okay, and can you decide this case based only on the evidence that is presented um, in the law that I give you and not on whether you like or dislike anybody's presentation style? Uh, if you work that way, then yes, I can go along with that. All right. <laughs> All right, um, do any of the attorneys have questions for this juror? I do not, Your Honor. All right. I do not. All right. Thank you very much. I'll excuse you to the jury room and we'll have y'all all back in just a minute. Thank you.